Before anybody asks, Lila is just fine, okay? She had a bath, and the basement's kind of cold, so we're letting her dry off upstairs. So don't worry, Lila's fine. Just today, it's just me today. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. My name is Gardner, and you're tuned in to Garden Sound. On today's show, we're going to be taking a closer look at a service called eMastered. Now, I got to go ahead and say that this episode is kind of, sort of, with asterisks and air quotations, sponsored by eMastered, but kind of, sort of, not really. So basically, I'm going to be giving you a look at this product. A long time ago, I'd say maybe two or three years ago, a service came to my attention. There's several services out there that tout that they can master your music online. Like they can take your songs and through machine learning, which is just a fancy way of saying a computer is doing it, they can master your music for you in a matter of seconds, in a matter of minutes, right? So why send it to a mastering engineer when you can have a computer do it for you. I'm sure you've seen the advertisements. I've seen them myself. I've always been very skeptical of it. Just, you know, for the sake of transparency, I'm still pretty skeptical. I've put out videos in the past on, you know, that basically rebuke push button DJing and push button uh, production. I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, but I didn't have the resources to do it. Like I was going to have to pay for an account and that sort of thing. But what eMastered has done, which is one of those companies, they have given me a login so that I can test this product out and show you guys how it works. My video today is going to be, can I outmaster a computer or can a computer outmaster me? Okay. So here's what I'm about to master. It's just a regular hip hop beat. Um, I created this myself this weekend, got an A section and a B section. I'll play just a bar of the A section and then a bar of the B section for you. This is the B section right here. And you can see that everything's peaking between negative six and negative four, negative three-ish, which is what they recommend on their website. And it's also what I would recommend if I was being a mastering engineer, sending something or having something sent to me. So control shift R to export. We're gonna be setting our file type to wave, sample rate to 4,800 and bit depth 32, dither options triangular. All right, so we've got this exported. The next thing we're gonna do is go to eMastered. Now, when you log in, this is what shows up. I haven't done this yet, okay? So you're experiencing this at the same time that I am. You know how much I value honesty and transparency. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my file. I'm gonna select hip hop beat. And this is what happens. I haven't done this yet, so we're experiencing this together. It's uploading the track. Um, shouldn't take too long. It wasn't that big of a file, which kind of depends on your internet connection, your speed there. All right. It's analyzing it. Emastered is analyzing your song, extracting audio fingerprint, all these voodoo words, analyzing sonic DNA, Ooh. improving compression, adjusting equalization. Sorry, those, those are real words. Okay, so this is the mastered version. That's the original version. I'm going to go ahead and download this as a wave. Uh, what's the difference between standard and HD wave? Because the file I uploaded was a lot chunkier. Let's do HD wave. Why not? Screw it. So we've got our mastered file downloaded from eMastered. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to master this on my side with my ears, not with a, with a machine. And then we'll compare the two. Okay, here we go. So I've got the two tracks back in here. Um, I've got the E-Mastered one and the Gardener one. Um, and what I've done is I've mastered the Gardener one through my default mastering chain, which if you haven't seen my video on how to master, um, I've got a video on that. You can go check that out. Um, and what we're about to do here is determine uh, analytically and with numbers, which one is better. I can tell you right now that mine has more dynamic range in it. Uh, you can tell because um, if you see here, the tops of these waveforms are kind of sliced off on the E-Mastered uh, version. And on mine, you can see the peaks, uh, they're, they're very defined. So mine does have a bit more dynamic range, um, just, just by sight, I can tell. Um, so I'm expecting the E-Mastered one to be a little bit louder. It, mi it might be a little bit more louder, it might be like carnage, you know, it's, this one makes it more louder. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is play back the E-Mastered one, and then I'm gonna play back mine back to back and we'll see which one sounds better. Uh, I'll play it through once E mastered and then once my version. <laughs>
mine's a little bit less squished. Um, you can you can hear it, and it's also apparent in the actual meters here. So E Master did go above zero decibels. Mine did too, uh, but it went above zero decibels a bit more than mine. It went above by 0.5. Mine went above by 0.17. So there is, E mastered is by the numbers louder. Now the question is, why is it louder and where does it differ? What I'm about to do is run spectrum. So I'm gonna solo E mastered and we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna be reading the spectrum. All right, so as you can read here, um, we've got peaks at around 74 Hertz. That's where the loudest point is. Um, but things are roughly, the base is a bit boosted, really is the effect we're looking at here. The base is boosted and the highs are more or less flat after 1K. They roll off up here around uh, 18, 19, 16K and above. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this here and then we'll compare them later. Let's take a look at the spectrum on my master. Okay, so the scale's a little bit different here on the window that I'm looking at, but you can see that mine actually does peak at around the same frequency in terms of the bass range, which leads me to believe that this thing does actually have a pretty good idea of what needs to be boosted. However, comma, I've got peaks up here above 1K that more or less put the snare drums in line with the kicks here. Now that's something that I don't think a computer can do. A computer can't contextualize like a human can. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, if you look back at the E mastered version, this is more or less flat, whereas mine isn't. Now this is because mine has more dynamic range in it and isn't as squeezed. So, I don't know. I don't know if I can recommend it or not. Uh, it's faster. It's a lot faster than me. Um, that took me around five minutes to 10 minutes, whereas E Master did it. I mean, you saw the whole process. It took about a minute, literally. I think if you're in a pinch, if you need a quick master, uh, this could be the thing for you, right? I don't think it should be a replacement for a mastering engineer, and I don't think it ever will be able to replace him. Well, let me not say that because you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, am I impressed? Yeah, I'm impressed because, it, because of how quick it is. It's definitely something that I might use in the future if I need a quick master and I don't have time. The pri you can't beat the price, I'll say that. It is a lot cheaper than a mastering engineer um, would be. I ch just for instance, um, $10 a track, that's a lot cheaper than I charge. I charge $45 a track, um, but you are getting that human touch that you do not get with a machine. So is it cheaper than me? Yeah, it's a lot cheaper than me, but is mine better? You know, I'm biased. I am biased, but I'd like to know in the comments down below whether or not you think mine or E Mastered is better. That's kind of where I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave it open ended. A am I going to recommend it as a replacement for a mastering engineer? No, it's just not a replacement. Is it impressive for what it is? Yes. Is it impressive for the price? Hell yes. So, anyway, if this is something you're interested in, Go down to the description below, use my affiliate link. That's why I said this video was kind of sponsored because if you use my affiliate link, I do get a kickback, at least for the first, I guess, 30 days that this video is up. So go check that out. It'll be available for the next 30 days. But that's really all I have to say about this. As per usual, here's some announcements for my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, you don't have to listen to anything more. Um, but if you are a subscriber and you'd like to hear some information, here's what's up. Friday, coffee time got taken down. Kind of sucks, but we have a plan going forward. It's just that we're going to have to double check everything against the YouTube audio uh, policy page. There's a big page I've posted about this in Discord. A good rule of thumb, if it's been distributed to iTunes or Spotify or something like that, it could technically ping me. Not all the time, though. It's, it's, it's hit and miss. So just keep that in mind. This whole situation is just really crappy. It really takes the fun out of coffee time. We're going to try it again this week. If it goes off without a hitch this week, we'll know what to do. But I think really we just need to keep it, we need to, we need to limit it to tracks that are submitted via SoundCloud, via Bandcamp. We're going to be able to get away with it this week. Um, if not, then maybe I'll just start streaming random stuff and we'll do coffee time the old way. Because it seemed like the old way was working pretty well. This is my promise to you all, okay? If it doesn't work out this week, if, if we get taken down again via live stream, if that just doesn't work out, then what I'm going to do is just cut my losses, and we'll go back to doing coffee time the old way, okay? Promise. That's all the announcements I have. Um, the hurricane slash tropical storm is gonna plow directly through Atlanta, and I'm thinking I might live stream uh, and have like a little hurricane party here in the basement and just play some music. Uh, so look for that tomorrow night. The next video is gonna be coming out on Wednesday. I do videos on Wednesday and Sunday with a live stream every Friday. I'll see you guys later.